Good morning. Welcome to Pastor John's Fireside Chat. It is Thursday, July 22nd. I hope that you're doing well. I'd like to share with you a reading from Jeremiah chapter 23. And before I read it, Jeremiah is known as the weeping prophet. He not only wrote the book Jeremiah, but he also wrote the book Lamentations, which kind of tells you the type of ministry he had. It was at the end of the life of Judah's reign in terms of the Judah the kingdom, and it was ransacked in 6005 BC and then uh, 597 BC and then utterly destroyed in 587 BC. And many of the people were carted off into captivity and into slavery. And it's in that context that Jeremiah was writing to God's people. And this is what he says in verse 7 of chapter 23. So then, the days are coming, declares the Lord, when people will no longer say, as surely as the Lord lives who brought the Israelites up out of Egypt, but they will say, as surely as the Lord lives who brought the descendants of Israel up out of the land of the north from Babylon and out of all the countries where he banished them, then they will live in their own land. I was reading a book based on this uh, section of, of Jeremiah, and listen to what the author writes. He says, It is amazing to contemplate the strong faith and unshakable hope of a man who can compose such a text while living probably under house arrest in a doomed city about to fall. The sack of the city was inevitable, and everyone alive after it was most likely to face a lifetime of slavery in a foreign land. How many of them would die on the trek to Babylon? Jeremiah exhibits raw courage and greatness of heart. Not only is he saying, all things will yet be well, but he is also affirming that the return from Babylon will exceed in greatness the exodus from Egypt. In short, the text can be understood to mean God got us out of Egypt with the parting of the Red Sea, the drowning of Pharaoh's army, the giving of the law, and all of that. But the return from Babylon will overshadow those astounding events. In the future, when you make an oath, you will swear by the God who brought you back from Babylon, not Egypt. And then he concludes, we are what we remember. And Jeremiah is not encouraging the people to remember the devastation. He's not encouraging the people to remember their suffering. He's encouraging them to remember the God who saves, to remember the Lord who brought us out of Egypt and he will bring us back from Babylon. I love that phrase, we are what we remember. What are you dwelling on? Are you dwelling on the suffering and the hardship or are you dwelling on the Lord who works through the suffering and the hardship for your good and for your deliverance? What you focus on really does have a powerful impact on how you live your life. It's my prayer that you and I will focus on the God who sees our need, who meets our need, and gives us what we need most, deliverance through the forgiveness of sins which comes from his son, Jesus Christ. Have a great day.